Hello, okay, so this uh, is actually my second vid I'm making about this project, but I'm going to make this one shorter because the other one's 13 minutes. I don't feel like editing it, but um, I'm basically just working on web based tool to calculate Persona 3 Fusions. It's not really that there's a need for this tool. I mean, there are other tools that exist written in Java or such that I've found, and you can actually manually look through an FAQ or something. This is one, um, a copy of one of the FAQs from Game F Game Facts, which shows, for example, all of the different um, combinations it explains. It starts with very basic normal spreads and goes straight through and explains how they work, it explains triple spreads, etc, etc, etc. Now all of this information is very usable and um, I've used it myself in order to figure out some of the more difficult fusions and you don't even have to figure out anything because if you read some of the other FAQs, they actually walk you through doing all of the fusions, even the very rare and difficult ones. S like these uh, special and restricted fusions like this. Like I've done some of these even without this guide. Um, one of the ones that people ask me all about a lot is um, Nana Taishi. But um, you really need a sort of deeper understanding of the game in order to really understand how to to fuse Nana Taishi. I didn't really realize that before because what I did is, well when I say you need a deeper understanding you don't really, but it seems that people haven't been doing the fusion requests and that's why they have so much trouble. Okay, because I didn't even realize that Nana Taishi was a restricted fusion. Restricted or special, right? I'll use the same terms as this FAQ, restricted fusion. Right, so Nana Taishi re requires that you finish event number 29 which will give you the machine core as a key item. Now there's no way to actually check on key items so you wouldn't really know if you have the key c machine core or not. The only way you would know if, if you look at Elizabeth's request and look at item number 29 and you see that you've done it you will say either done, open or you know blank meaning that you haven't accepted it or request 29 will not be open. In order to open request 29 you have to do request 23 or 22 I can't really remember but there's a FAQ which walks you through it and I briefly cut and pasted or I compiled the results in one of my videos talking about the order that you need to do request in. So yeah that being said my tool I'm making it basically to force myself to work on a project from start to finish and the aim is to really do something that requires a database. Now as you see I'm scrolling through this is a lot of data and this is just for the the, the normal fusions. This has nothing to do with like triple fusions although triple fusions make use of this table to a degree. It has nothing to do with the restricted fusions here. Yeah and it has nothing to do with the actual data on the persona themselves. Um, and I'm planning to enter all of that. I'm planning to enter data for all 145 personae and that's after I enter these tables and obviously I'm, I have to do the logic which determines how a fusion is done. I have to account for things like special fusions, restricted fusions which say screw the rules and you know stuff like that. So I have a lot of work to do and I chose this project this project specifically because it was hard but also because it's interesting to me and I'll know when it works because you know I'll be able to predict how the fusions work so um, in the other video I was explaining what I'm doing here like a normal line fusion is not based on the individual persona it's based on the arcane of the persona there's a mathematical formula which determines what level the resultant persona will be and there is a there are tables which determine what arcana the resulting persona will be. So if for example if you want a full persona, wait a minute, this is the triple fusion table. If you want full persona, the only pr way to do it is by using two full two fools. But if you want a magician, there are several different ways. If you use like two of the same ones, that's called the same arcana uh, fusion and their special rules. But the rules, like I said, don't matter right now because I'm just entering the data. So um, right now though I stopped because I made a mistake and this is the only form I have. I c yes I can manually go into the database but that wouldn't be any fun, that wouldn't force me to learn anything. So I'm going to make another form which I was planning to do anyway though. 
which um, is better at entry because what it will do is it will actually let me edit the information as well as just entering it sort of blindly. Like right now, you only really know what's in the database after you enter it. Um, so, for example, like the last thing I, I entered was full slash moon goes to chariot and it told me that it already is this. I'm just going to do it again just to show you, you know, it happening. Um, it doesn't make sense having duplicate entries in the database. And so because of that, I made the scripts check the database first. And the order doesn't matter. Moon, Moon and, and Fortune, you could exchange them. You know, the first and second persona, you can exchange them. And the resulting arcana will be the same. It, this is how the game actually works. It doesn't matter what order you, you select the persona in. So I've also built that rule into my predictor. And it's basically just at the starting stage. Um, the data entry part, and then one of the more tedious parts, is going to take me a while. As you can see here, the chariot table. That means I've gotten as far as here, the seventh arcana. But remember, I have to go down to arcana number 20. So it'll, it'll take a while. And um, that's just for the, the lane fusions. I still have to make another table for triple fusions. Then I have to include. Then I have to make a, a table of all of the personae. Well, I don't have to, but how I describe the project, I have to do it, and so on. Uh, and another thing this has forced me to do is work on my um, planning skills. So I'm just going to briefly, well, ignore this. This isn't um, really well, the part I wanted to show. Right, here is a brief outline of the different parts. So I'm now on the second part, the line fusion arcana combination stable. I need to update this because they don't call it normal list, they call it line fuse. Um, so that's, this here will be the first usable thing, right, which will be actually a query which uses this data. But it will only be very limited use. The really useful thing will be this, which will be able to predict all of the normal fusions. Because this will also include the special line fusions, which are such as um, one of the ways you can get Nana Taishi that I um, described in one of my videos where you have a special item and special conditions as this. Then I um, have to work on triangle fusion table, predictor for truthful fusions, uh, query for that. There'll be inverse query and so on and so on and so on. So eventually it gets down to Projector skill and inheritance, which are the most difficult things. Right. So basically, 21 major points. Yeah. Sounds like fun, huh? Well, anyway, um, I don't mind. I'm going to pace myself and just basically work on a little bit every day. And at the end of it, I'll have mad skills. Or I would have refreshed my skills because, um, yeah, I used to do like Java serverless and stuff like and stuff. And I used to actually get paid for that. Well, that was a long time ago when Java was fresh and new and people thought it would revolutionize the world. I never believed that, hype, but whatever. Anyhow, um, that's my vid for now and I'll just stop here.